Okay, today we're going to be looking at Pygame once again, a uh, module for Python for creating uh, uh, games, 2D games. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into a script I already started here. What this is, this is our base Pygame script. This is um, basically uh, uh, a script I created, and it's what you're going to start with with most simple Pi games. And uh, I already did a video on this, and I uploaded this script. There's a link in the description to both the uh, video and the script, so you can uh, watch the video and I'll explain it. Um, but just to save time and tutorial so I don't have to type this every single time I created that video so we can all start like this every single time. So uh, what we're going to work on today is creating a basic shape and uh, ellipse shape. Um, an ellipse is like a football shape. Uh, it's it's kind of roundish but pointed at each end. Not to be confused with an egg shape, which um, is an oval, which is round at one end and more pointed at the other. Um, but uh, let's get started. This is going to be very simple. I'll show you how to draw one, and then I will show you, um, you know, how we can just uh, make it animated. So starting with our base script here, we're going to come down here and we're going to go right here and we're going to say pi game so this is within our while loop and we're going to say draw and where we're going to draw we're going to draw an ellipse where are we going to draw it well we're going to draw it to screen which is our pi game display this is an object we created up here next we're going to give it some coordinates to work with and we'll just say um uh, let's say 100, 1, and 200. Next, we're going to give it uh, some other coordinates here. I'm not sure if coordinates for the first little part was an accurate term, but I'll explain it all more here in a moment, and I'll display to you or show you, demonstrate to you uh, what things, how things are working. And then we'll set uh, this right here to 1. Uh, next thing we need to do, we need to update our screen. So we're going to say pygame.display.update. And don't forget your parentheses right there. Now if we save this, and I named the script uh, ELL for ellipse, uh, but obviously you can call it whatever you'd like within reason. And we're going to say change mod plus x and the name of our script, and then dot slash the name of our script. And there you go, you can see that uh, we drew a circle right here. And it's colored purple. Now, why is it colored purple? That's because we gave it RGB, I said coordinates, and when I said it I knew that was wrong, but RGB values. We've got red, green, and blue here. So we got 200 blue, and any of these values can be anywhere from 0 to 255. The higher the number for each color, the stronger that color is. So basically we've got mostly blue and red here, so we're going to get kind of a purple color. If we change this to 255 and we put this down to, to 0, we should get a very strong red color with a very, very, very small percentage of green that we probably wouldn't even notice. It'll look pretty much red to us. So there it is right there. Um, so there we go, we have those values. Um, let's create some variables for those instead. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to say r equals, for now, 255, g equals 0, and b equals zero. I'm doing that just because red stands out very well uh, on the screen for these videos. So let's change these values to the variables which we can modify. And then uh, let's add a little if then statement here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a new line right here and we're going to say if r is less than we'll say 200, but you can go up to 255, then what are we going to do? We're going to say r equals, actually let's do r minus equals 1, and that sub should subtract 1 from r each time around. Then we're going to say 
L. Uh, then we're going to say, sorry, not L if, but if R is. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm doing this wrong. So if it's less than 200. <laughs> I'm getting off what I originally planned on doing this tutorial and it's throwing me off. Let's create an R1 uh, like we did in a previous tutorial and we'll set that equal to 1. And we'll say if it goes over 200, R1 will then equal negative 1. And if it goes less than, we'll say, 10, we'll set R1 equal to 1. Then we're going to say if R1 is, uh, no, we don't even need to do that. <laughs> I'm messing up this twirl like crazy. OK, we're going to say R uh, plus equals R1. Uh, I think I did that right. Let's have a look here. There you go. You can see that it basically faded down to black and then it's going to fade to red. And it's kind of pulsating in color there. Uh, and because I was screwing up, I don't think I explained that very well. Basically, we created two variables, R equals R1 equals 1. Now, anytime R is greater than 200, we're going to set R1 equal to negative 1. If it's less than 10, we're going to set it to 1. And then we're always going to add whatever R equals to R1. Uh, and if R1 is a negative number, it'd be like subtracting 1 from it. If it's a positive number, then it's going to be like adding 1 to it. So G and B are already 0. So the only color we have in here is red. The higher the number, the stronger the red. So we get up to 200, and then it's going to turn around and start subtracting. And as it gets closer to 0, we're going to get closer to black because black is the absence of color. So 0, 0, 0 would generate black for you. Anyway, that was not something I was going to go through in this tutorial, and I kind of got off a little bit there. Anyway, we have that. Let's play with some of these numbers, and let's see what happens. Let's set this number equal to 220 instead of 20 and see what happens. You can see that we moved the coordinates down. So that would be our, our uh, y-axis there. If we come over here to this 160, and we change this to 260, what do you think is going to happen? Whoops, that's uh, not what I meant to do. OK. We'll run it again. And now our, our uh, ellipse is stretched out. So. We've got two numbers right here. We've got 220, which is how far down we are on the y-axis. And then we've got uh, the 620, which is how long. So basically, both these are we can consider uh, y's. Now, these other two come down here to this 10. This 10 is our x coordinate. So this is how far over from the left of our screen our, our ellipse is going to be. So if I change this to, let's see, our, our screen is 800. I can go about uh, 350, and that will put us about halfway. I'm just eyeballing it here. So there you can see that our ellipse is now halfway over in the screen. Now if we come back into our script here, and we change this other x coordinate, which is more of a width, we'll change it to 300. We, oh, ah, I just uh, shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Darn you, Vim. OK, no, I love Vim. But sometimes I hit keys I don't mean to hit. OK, let's just. There we go. OK, let's change this to 300. There we go. And now we have a much fatter ellipse. And obviously, you can make a circle by making the height and width the same. Um, but let's play with this a little bit more. 
let's do more than just making it flash. Let's draw it multiple times and make it change size. So what we're going to want to do, oh, and I bet you're asking what this one is at the end here. And I'm going to be honest, I've already forgotten. So let's make it a larger number. Let's make it 25 and see what happens. That maybe that might be the thickness. I'm guessing here. Yes, that is the thickness of our um, of our sphere or our ellipse here. So that is actually something I was about to get into next. So I should have remembered that if I looked at my notes properly. Uh, we're going to set that value to x, and we're going to create a variable called x, and we're going to set x equal to 1. Then we're going to create a little loop here, and actually let's get rid of the color change. I don't care about that right now. We're actually going to do something different with colors later on. We're going to say if x is less than 70, what are we going to do? We're going to say x equals x, x plus equals 1, which is going to add 1 to x. So x is starting off as 1, that's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to blah, blah, blah. So let's run this. Look what it does. It did a little drawing, making the, uh, the width of our uh, ellipse, this is border, larger but moving in actually. Um, so now let's also uh, adjust it so we can manipulate the color too. So in the same loop, while it's changing size, we're going to change uh, the color. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, let's say our red, uh, which is R, and we're going to say plus equals two. Let's do that. We crashed though because we went over 255 because we're already at 255 so we really should start lower and we'll set our red to I will say 100 that should keep us safe because uh, right now um, we're only going to be going 70 points so we shouldn't get above 170 here so run it again and you can see it started off dark and got brighter let's add in some other color here to help with that let's uh, let's do blue because blue and red mix pretty good together. We'll set that to 100. And uh, we will set this so that we can go uh, blue equals minus one. So we're gonna be subtracting blue. So it's gonna start off kind of blue and it's gonna actually kind of purple because we're gonna have red and blue mixed and then it's gonna get more red and less blue. Let's have a look. There we go. So I'm just playing around with the shapes and the colors here. You can play around with it more. I'll post the uh, this script uh, in the description of the link along with this video. And also please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.